Today I'm going to take you on a journey through a day in the life of a trucker. Got to start that engine and let it run for a little while, then we're going to grab some fuel and get all fueled up and ready to roll, hit the road. I'm all topped off now and ready to hit the road, let's roll. Alright, today, so we got to go pick up in Fruitport, Michigan, and then we got to uh, deliver straight through to Detroit. This is my dedicated run that's uh, been my survival key for the past year since COVID really. Uh, this is basically a dedicated route that I do of auto parts for Ford and it's pretty simple. I know the guys, I'm in and out on both both ends usually pretty quickly so it's just, it's like a, a dream route for an owner operator. Uh, this right now we're rolling through uh, downtown Grand Rapids area. This place is called Little Mexico. Uh, this right turn is treacherous sometimes. You got to get it super wide and then cut it super tight. Uh, thankfully I'm in a day cab so if I was in a sleeper I probably wouldn't go this way. All right let's hit the highway my way. Uh, this little entrance to the highway gets pretty sketchy. Uh, there's not a whole lot of square foot. Uh, once you enter, like the merge lane uh, is super tiny, so it can be kind of sketchy in rush hour, but not too bad right now. Uh, and then we're approaching the S-curve in downtown Grand Rapids, and if any of you have ever been here, the S-curve gets super, super sketchy uh, during the winter and just during traffic. Lots of accidents and truckers flip over this part right here, uh, just taking it too, too, too quick and too fast. Uh, so coming up to Heartside, I think is what they call it, uh, downtown. It's like we're right here on the right is where all the colleges are and where they practice medicine. On this route, I have, I think I run into like two way stations. So I'm going to hope that this way, this is the first way station in Ionia. And usually they're the most strict. So I, I hope every time that I can avoid it. But you never want to skip these because they'll chase you down. And it's just good to follow the law. Uh, make sure you got your log books and your weight on point and all your truck and equipment because they will they have inspected me and hit me up pretty hard they actually put me out of service last time i was here and it cost me like thirteen hundred dollars to have my mechanic come out and fix my brake drums that's another thing i love about trucking is the scenery i love the amish i used to live with the amish so um every now and again you get to come across the amish rolling down in their buggies it's frickin z deutsch mr miller I'd say one of the worst things about being a truck driver is running into traffic or rush hour traffic. It's just horrible. I mean, because we got to get from point A to point B within a specific amount of time. Uh, we have deadlines, we have shippers and receivers ready to receive or ship the load. And so, and then brokers um, and dispatchers, you know, hounding us. But this one isn't too bad, so we should be out of here pretty quickly. Looks like we're breaking free right now. Oh no, what happened here? Okay, that's probably why the traffic was going on. Everybody freaks out and starts panicking and gets over. Uh, hopefully they're okay though. Time to deliver the goods and get up on out of here and head back home. Alright, let's roll. Heading back home, it's usually nighttime, so it's pretty easy drive. Oh man, just getting back to the yard. Happy to be back and in the life of a trucker. So we're right back where we started at the yard and uh, time to pull in and back on in and turn the truck off and go home and go to bed. Sometimes you gotta be super careful backing in at night time, man. Especially here, there's no very little light. Uh, I've seen worse, uh, but I'm used to this parking area, so I got her down. All right, time to roll, we're good to go. And there's my beautiful wife and son ready to pick daddy up and take me home. Oh man, I slept like a baby, and there's my little puppy dog. He thinks he's a wolf. All right, time to start the day. No work for this guy today. What do you think, pup? What do you think? What do you want to do with my hair? Yo, Chase, it makes him dizzy. Oh yeah, guys, I got a haircut. Handsome man. Looking good. Lakin, what happened? You dropped the fingernail clippers in the toilet. I'll get them. <laughs> you there's poop in there. Oh, yeah. He thinks he can just go anywhere. Oh. 
Gonna go get me a little breakfast sandwich because I'm lazy and it's Sunday. This is like a trailer drop lot around the corner from my house for this flower company. Oh man, I love seeing old Glory flying like that. Ain't she pretty? Gotta love America, man. The freedom we have is like none other, thanks to the sacrifice of others. I like Wendy's burgers, man, because it's like their burger patties aren't frozen or processed. They're supposed to be like 100% pure, pure beef. Thank you for choosing Wendy's. What can I get for you? Um, can I get a sausage, egg and cheese uh, croissant? So good. Love their sandwiches. Alright, got the coffee and the breakfast sandwich. Gonna go home and read a little bit and then get ready to go to church. This is Billy Graham's devotional. I do it every day. Christian living. Just as you want men do to you, you also do to them likewise. How can you dev devote yourself to growing spiritually? So we're here at Wellspring Church. Me and the kiddo, the wife didn't come because she's sick and pregnant. So ready to go. Let's go. Love this drive. This is our church. So guys, we're just leaving church. Um, we left a little early because I have my birthday party today. Sometimes you have to cancel it a bunch of times because, you know, like, people were sick. It's, like, kind of like the season to get kind of sick. And Daddy, you want it was to a great it? service. It's about the sovereignty of God. He reigns over all. Mm -hmm. Now it's time to go maybe work out. And or go home and, and get ready for Lakin's birthday party. Yeah. Bowling. Like Adios, Wellspring. Thanks for having us. So me and my son just got back from church and it was a beautiful service as always. The preacher was talking about how uh, when Peter and the apostles, uh, or Paul and the apostles were um, going around uh, preaching, encouraged him, Peter, to heal a blind woman. She or he had waited 20 years living in, uh, you know, terrible, uh, a terrible way, in a terrible way. It, brings me to think about like a lot of the things that we struggle with in life on a day-to-day -day basis where we see people we lose people or we see people die like papa. yep like papa and a lot of us ask that question believers and non-believers like if god is such a loving god and if he cares about us and if we're faithful like why why doesn't he um heal us of these diseases and heal sometimes god does the preacher was talking about god's sovereignty uh one of the apostles Peter said in that moment that because God waited 20 years for him, for me, Peter, to heal this woman of this blindness on this day, not 20 years ago, not 10 years ago, but today, 20 years later, because to glorify God's sovereignty. And sometimes like we think like our plan is not God's plan. Sometimes we think, well, why can't God just, I'm asking you, God, answer me. You tell me you'll answer me. But sometimes our timing is different than God's. Our plans are different than God's. But no matter what, we have to remember that whether we feel like the result is good or bad, it's for God's glory. All right, my rant's over. Now we're going to go bowling for Lakin's B-Day part. <laughs> That was a good wish. All right, now we're gonna uh, open up presents and then eat, and then we're gonna do some bowling. Oh man, is it gonna go? Is it gonna go? Is it? Gonna... 
Dude, nice! All right, the birthday party was a hit. We all had fun bowling, like, and got a lot of cool stuff. What's going on, people? I'm here to pick up the kiddo from school. It's a Monday afternoon, three o'clock, and no work for this guy today. The Dragon Race Car Hot Wheels. And that's a day in the life of a truck driver when I'm not working. We're not always truck driving. So when we aren't, we're at home with the family doing this kind of stuff. I hope you guys enjoyed. Hope it wasn't too much. And make sure you like and subscribe. And comment down below what you do on your day off. I'm curious. I want to know. All right, we'll see you guys next time.